What's up Visionaries? Welcome back to the Vista channel. Today we have a fantastic video lined up for you. We're going to be reviewing the Zoom H5 audio recorder. And we'll be doing a bit of a deep dive on whether or not it's the right purchase for you and what kind of circumstances really benefit from having an audio recorder, like a nice portable audio recorder like this uh, around. If you're new to the channel, it's great to have you with us. Here over at Vista, we discuss the business of design and everything in between. And if you're a returning subscriber, it's great to see you. So without any further ado, let's roll the intro. So today we'll be discussing the Zoom H5 audio recorder. Uh, we'll be going through some pros and cons, uh, speaking about its features, the usability, its price, which I know is a big thing for many individuals who look into audio recording, and just in general, my rating that I would give this handy little piece of tech. Um, so let's begin with features. So out of the box, it supports multiple WAV formats. Uh, it has dual XLR inputs. It's got live monitoring, so you can plug a pair of headphones in. You have gain adjustment knobs, an SD card slot. However, the card slot only goes up to 32 gigs, um, which in my experience on a single channel recording can be around 19 hours. And if you add a channel and extra channels on, you can basically halve that time. So you'd get eight hours with two and four hours with four. It also comes with phantom power and it is battery powered. However, you can also uh, power it from a USB um, power bank or if you want to plug it into the wall for extended periods of time. Let's talk usability. So right off the bat, you'll notice that it is really sleek, really clean. It does come with its own little uh, carrying case that you can see here. Uh, you can kind of open it up and uh, set the recorder inside so that you can keep it safe, close it up, and this will fit inside of your bag. Very easy, very small, lightweight. Um, this thing only weighs a couple of grams, nowhere near a kilogram. So uh, in that regard, it's really fantastic to have on set with you in your camera bag, just as a, a you know extra piece of equipment if you're doing a bit more um, of intense recording with audio. You can use this guy as a fantastic source of backup, or if you want to run it as your main audio recorder, it has an incredible mic on top. Uh, it's the XYH5, and this thing is fantastic in terms of the quality that you can get. Why don't we give you a bit of a test? Listen to this. Our first tip today is something that I think many individuals will find intimidating, perhaps even uh, unconventional and rather strange. It also comes with a mount hole at the back that you can use to mount it to any standard uh, tripod or monopod and set it up so that you can have it kind of at an angle or however you'd like to position it. Um, so that's really helpful as well in terms of, you know, building its usability. You can kind of sit it on top of your camera on a cold or hot shoe and just let it run. It can record, as mentioned, for 32 gigs, you have 19 hours. It's more than enough recording time for any day's worth of shoot. Um, it does also have a really clean UI. Um, it's very easy to, to move through. As you can see here, it's also backlit from the LED. When on battery, I found that it can last upwards of nine hours. Um, it's really great battery life, but it really shines when you plug it into a power bank actually. And so putting it into one of my 10,000 milliamp hour power banks, uh, you have almost unlimited power. <laughs> um, it really draws very slowly. Um, funny story, I forgot it on after a shoot the one night and came back in the morning to find that it was still on and it had barely touched the bars of my uh, power bank. So it really can last very long if you use a power bank. One thing that I have noticed though, if you use a power bank, it may reset the time uh, and date of the uh, Zoom recorder. So just be careful if you need kind of very specific date and time uh, information, you may want to check that at the start of your kind of uh, recording if you are using a USB source of power. So just be careful about that. Next, let's talk about what everyone is here for, the price tag. So currently it runs for between five and 6,000 Rand, um, which equates to around 300 to 360 USD, I think. I'm not sure of the exact prices overseas, but here in South Africa, you can pick it up between five and 6K. I managed to sm snag my uh, second one for 4K. Um, my first one was unfortunately stolen 
and uh, you know that's one of the downsides is that it's quite small very easy to you know slip into a pocket slip into a backpack so they managed to get away with mine but um, thankfully I managed to get a second one at around 4,000 Rand which is a real steal in my opinion um, it's a fantastic piece of uh, tech for that price range I think it may be a bit too much for beginners coming in uh, you could definitely settle with one of zoom's lower end products for you know really good sound quality but for maybe a podcast without a mixer you know you don't want that clunky uh, powered mixer to sit in front of you this is beautiful it does come with phantom power as well so you can power um, you know car diode mics and mics that need their own source of power you can power them through the zoom obviously if you're using batteries just be careful of uh, drainage it will drain a lot faster that way but when you're powered by USB uh, I have had no problems you can actually run the main mic recording with the two XLR ports at the same time so essentially running four channels your left and right as well as your two XLR ports this will definitely um, you know reduce the amount of time but in terms of podcast episodes you'll definitely have enough for perhaps a two hour episode even more um, so it won't be that big of a deal um, but you will definitely need more ports if you are having more microphones so that's one of the downsides I must admit is I would definitely have liked more XLR ports but for the portability and the size you really can't ask for much more it's fantastic to have dual XLR um, especially with mirrorless cameras like my a6400 I get dual XLR inputs without having to do anything just by mounting it on my uh, bracket at the top so it becomes a really really key piece of my equipment when I'm filming and uh, recording audio for videos and for sets and so forth if you're however only filming kind of you know yourself like this in terms of YouTube vlogs and these kind of films a lav might actually be better you know you can pick one up this uh, audio technica one cost me about a thousand rand and you know that is more than sufficient for capturing really great audio from interview style uh, pieces but if you're wanting a bit more kind of flexibility I would highly recommend the zoom h5 um, and if you're maybe out of budget, you could definitely find one of Zoom's lower end products. I have no doubt that they will still uphold the great quality that Zoom uh, pushes out with their products. And finally, to rate it, I will give the Zoom H5 four and a half stars out of five. Uh, I think it's a fantastic piece of tech, really worth your money if you're looking for a lightweight and portable audio solution. There is almost nothing better um, in this price bracket, so I would really recommend it if you are looking to you know, purchase it. Um, also check around the budget uh, wise, try and see if there are other things in the price range. Um, but if not, also see if you can snag one for a bit cheaper. The price fluctuates quite intensely, which is really strange, um, but actually if you can pick it up for or anywhere around 5,000 or 4,000 Rand, that's a great deal and I would highly recommend it. And that's it for the review guys. I hope you enjoyed um, my, our talk about the Zoom H5 and I hope you enjoyed those nice little pieces of uh, stock footage that I threw in there of the Zoom uh, that was all filmed uh, here in the office and I will hope to do more reviews. So if you enjoy reviews like this, uh, let me know down in the comments below. It would be greatly appreciated. And if you enjoyed it, please remember to hit that like button. If you want to see more, you can subscribe. Uh, we'll definitely be uploading a lot more videos in the coming weeks, so it would be greatly appreciated. I also want to mention that we have a giveaway running at the moment for a pack of four eBooks uh, based around financial uh, mindset and financial literacy. Um, you can take a look at the link in the description for the competition. Entry is completely free and uh, we'll be ending the competition towards the end of November. So you have the whole month of November to enter. Um, it would be really appreciated if you could, you know, follow through, share it amongst your friends. Um, we're trying to really build a following and, you know, build the audience up. And uh, yeah, it's uh, completely free. The books are valued around, I think, $60, $60, which is around 800 Rand. So it's not amazing, but it will definitely help you uh, on your journey towards financial literacy. If you're wanting to start a business, these books have been invaluable uh, in my uh, perspective uh, of starting a business and running my own finances so I cannot recommend them enough and yeah guys thanks so much for watching I hope to see you in the next one uh, stay safe stay healthy and stay creative I'll catch you visionaries next time